Hey, let's touch on some of the uh, individual aircraft. You've got the A350 behind you. It's uh, due to have its first commercial flight this week from Frankfurt mm -hmm. uh, to Doha. Tell us a bit more about that aircraft. Well, it's a great aircraft. It's a composite aircraft. Over half of the airplane is composite. It's got a new generation of engine. It's extremely fuel efficient, and it works side by side uh, with our A330neo. In fact, we're very proud of a, an order we got for 50 wide-body airplanes this year from Delta Airlines. They selected the airplane over my shoulder, the A350, for the long-range routes they have in the Pacific, and they bought the A330neo for the relatively shorter-range routes in the North Atlantic, out to the Middle East and beyond. So we think we've got a winning combination in the wide body twin category. Uh, let's uh, also stick on the A350. The uh, first operators of it are Qatar Airways, who I believe have bought uh, 80 of the aircraft. Mm. Do you see the Middle East uh, as a hub for both planes and airlines uh, growing significantly over the next decade? It, it certainly is, uh, uh, but uh, it's becoming a hub for even larger aircraft than our own A350. You take, for example, the A380. Uh, Emirates uh, is flying A380s all around the world uh, with 140 firm aircraft on order and about 56 in operation today. Uh, they're taking airplanes at the rate of about 12 to 15 a year. So when you have big hubs like you have in the Middle East, you're able to channel large numbers of people on flights like the A380 very comfortably and efficiently into your hub and then move them out to other destinations. It's becoming the wave of the future, at least from Europe uh, out to Asia.